Hey everybody, good morning. How are you? I hope everyone is well today. Today's Saturday. Happy Saturday, everybody. I hope you are having a great day on purpose. If you are not working, I hope that you are resting. Even if you are working, I hope that you're resting. Amen. And this is a restful weekend for you. Just got on here really quickly to do uh, my five minute word of encouragement, how I feel like God has wanted me to encourage you today. And today I just want to talk really quickly on being free. Do you know that Jesus was wounded for our transgressions? Bruised for our iniquity, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. He died so that we could be free, spirit, soul, and body. He wants us to be free. Listen, so many people are bound, and they don't even know that they're bound. They do things. They don't know why they do them. Harriet Tubman said, I could have freed more slaves if they would have known that they were slaves. Listen, that's, that, that quote says so much to me because so many people are bound, and God does not want us to be bound. He died on the cross so that we can be free. In the word salvation and grace, Greek, it's healing, deliverance, safety, preservation, and soundness. So many people are losing their mind, and God has given us soundness. He died so that we can have a sound mind. So many people are, are, are wounded in their heart and in their mind. They're wounded in their body, and God has died so we can have healing. So many people are addicted to so many things. So many people eat, and they're not even hungry. So many addictions all around us, and Jesus died so that we can be free. I just got on here really quickly to encourage you. He said, all those who receive me, I've given the right, the privilege, and the authority to be sons so it's a receiving issue it's a choice jesus died to give us the tools that we need to be free it's up to us to choose to take on the mind of christ and do what he told us to do amen we can receive that free gift of salvation but it's up to us to lay down our life to accept that lordship when we accept that lordship that means we allow him to lord over us we give him rulership over our life he gives us his spirit it's a trade-off and we follow the spirit the spirit of god will lead us and guide us in all truth and the spirit of god will lead us to be free because jesus died so that we could be free he took nails in his hands so we could be free amen so I just got here really quickly to encourage you to be free today. Make the choice to be free. Receive the sacrifice. Receive the lordship. Sometimes where he leads us, we don't like it. But he, listen, the Bible says the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But he came to give us life and that life more abundantly. See, here's the thing. The thief comes to steal our relationships, kill our relationships, our finances, our health. He comes to do all, to, to try to take all these things from us. But God said he came to give us that life and a more abundant life, a free life where we can serve him, where we can do what we want to do. So many people are in situations, they're doing things they don't even want to do. And some of them don't even know why. They have these patterns and these different things going on with them and they can't even explain it but guess what jesus died on the cross so you can be free just got on here really quickly to encourage you to be free how do you get free with listen it all starts with jesus you have to first make him lord and savior of your life receive the free sacrifice believe in your heart that he died on the cross for you and for your sins and confess with your mouth his lordship surrender your life unto him he will give you his spirit to lead you and guide you in all truth let me tell you something man and woman of god people will lie to you but the spirit of god will never lie to you he's the same yesterday today and forever he's a sure thing he's faithful even when we're not faithful amen he's the same yesterday today and forever he's the oh ancient of days the great i am whatever we need him to be he is amen and he will be there for us the bible says that he sticks closer to us than a brother amen we can be free today jesus went through all that he went through he bled blood in the garden of Gethsemane so that we could be free be free today. Be healed today. Be delivered and be set free. Amen. Listen, deliverance is a process. We have to walk it out. It might happen instantly, but we still have to walk it out. The Bible says when the spirit is cast out, it goes through dry places and it will come back. Listen, we have to walk it out. But Jesus died and gave us all the tools that we needed. We just simply have to receive them. And then we have to receive them every day. Every day we have to give them our yes. It's not a one-time thing. It's an everyday walk. We walk out our salvation. Listen, everybody, I'm Chandra Davis. My husband's Anthony Davis. We're senior leaders of Kingdom Awakening Church. Listen, we would love to connect with you. We would love to help to show you how to be free. Amen. The Bible says one can put a thousand a flight to 10,000. We're senior leaders, Kingdom Awakening Church. We meet every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We pray every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Zoom in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Connect with us here. Like us here. Davis Tips for Daily Living. We'll be launching our life coaching soon. Davis Tips 365. Be free. We would love to walk with you and show you how to be free. If you know someone that's not free, Harriet Tubman said, listen, I could 
could have freed more slaves if they would have known they were slaves. So many people are bound, don't even realize they're bound, but Jesus died so we can be free. I want to encourage you today, be free. Share this video with someone that just needs some freedom. Amen. Some people, so many people are not free in their minds, free in their hearts, free in their emotions. Forgiveness, you have to forgive. Forgiveness creates a cage around your mind. Listen, we don't forgive for the other person. We forgive for ourselves. We forgive because we're forgiven. Jesus forgave us. Listen, everybody, just got on here really quick to give you a quick five-minute word of encouragement. Be free. Amen. It's a choice. God has given us the authority, the right, and the privilege to be sons. Sons are free. Have a great day, everybody.